Hello, this is Kim Larson and today I'm going to talk to you about how to set up your InDesign document to create a tri-fold brochure with no bleeds on it. So first of all, when I open up InDesign, you'll see that uh, I'm currently working in InDesign CS5, uh, but when I open it up, I get the splash screen, which is this screen right here, which it makes it easy for me just to go ahead and click document, book, library, whatever. If this screen doesn't show up, then no problem. You can just go up to File New and you have access to all the same information here. Uh, so right now I'm going to go ahead and create my document so that I can go ahead and create the brochure just kind of get it set up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create New Document and then the New Document dialog box will pop up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look right here it says uh, Intent Print which is true I'm going to print my brochure Number of pages, as we know from a folding dummy that we've created, we are doing front and back, so we are actually designing two pages. Next to this, uh, we've got the facing page checked, and I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that, just so that um, normally that would be like if I was designing a book or something like that, but since we're doing a brochure, I'm going to uncheck that. Then I'm going to come down here, it says page size. I'm going to leave it at the letter size, because that's the, uh, the starting size of our brochure. And then the orientation, currently it is set up on portrait, but I'm going to go ahead and click the landscape button because uh, we're actually going to turn the page to landscape to design it. As I move my way down the screen, I have the columns, I'm just going to leave that, and then the margins. Currently, as we know, six picas equals one inch, so the three picas here is going to be a half an inch. What we need to do is we need to change that. We can't have a bleed on this particular brochure so I'm just going to come in instead of a half an inch I'm gonna come in a quarter of an inch now um, what I can do is I can just type in 0.25 and put the inch mark and it, you'll notice when I click somewhere it automatically will update if I don't want to write 0.25 I could always put 1 divided by 4 you know do a quarter inch that way click it and it will automatically do the conversions for me as well now up here towards the top we have more options. If I click on that you can see I have bleeds and slugs at the bottom. But again, we, like I said, we are not doing a bleed on this particular piece. So I'm actually just going to leave all that at zero and not even mess with it and I'm going to click OK. When I go into my document, it's going to open up my two pages in InDesign and they're in Landscape. First of all, I've got page one here. If I scroll down, you can see I have page two. So what I'm going to do is I need to set up my brochure because we're doing a tri-fold brochure. So it, it's tri meaning three for a three panel brochure. So I need to go ahead and figure out how I'm going to set up my panels when I go to print. So I have across the top up here, I have 11 inches going across the top. And I know that I'm going to divide it into three because I have three panels since it's a tri-fold. So I'm going to show you just a way that I cheat. There are probably a hundred different ways to do this but this is just a quick way that I kinda cheat when I'm setting up my panels uh, I come over here and I'll grab a rectangle click once and and I know once the rectangle options panel comes up I'm gonna go ahead and type in 3.667 which is the size of a um, the 11 inch side divided by 3 I'm gonna put my inch mark and I'm gonna click OK and you'll notice I have this perfectly squared panel rectangle right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw out a guideline to this. So I'm going to go ahead and just do click on the the ruler over to the side and I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop it directly on the edge of that box. Now I'm going to take the box move it over and then I'm going to come back over here click on the ruler and as I'm holding down the mouse I'm going to click and drag it across and drop it on the end of the box. To double check make sure my math was correct, I can come over here, drag and drop, and I can see that fits perfect there. I'm going to kind of move the box to the side real quick, but now you can see that I have it set up so that I have three panels in this particular document. Now, if I scroll on down here to the second page, I can go ahead and quickly do this as well. Now, of course, there are other ways you could do this. Instead of doing this individually on the pages, you could go into a master page and set this up on the master page and just call it a day. You don't have to sit here and do this to individual pages. But 
you can see how quickly I did that um, without having to go in and, and set up master pages. Now what I want to do is, right now if I'm looking at my page, I'm going to do control zero to pop out to full page. You'll notice here I have a quarter inch going around the tops, the bottom, and the sides. Well, I'm doing that because we can't have a full bleed and we have a gripper area around the edge and I don't want to actually put anything over to the edge because what if it gets cut off, what if it goes around the fold and, and we don't want that. So to keep it consistent, since I have a half inch across the top, a half inch down the sides and a half inch down here at the bottom, what I want to do is create a little half inch little margin on each side of the fold so I can keep all of my material within that half inch margin. So to do that, the box that I just had, I can select this box and come over here and I can adjust the, the height and width and I'm just going to put a quarter inch and put a quarter inch and now I have a perfect little quarter inch box. I'm going to drag the box right here to the edge and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so I can see a bit better. I'm going to hit the Z key on the keyboard and zoom in. And now I'm going to come over here to my ruler and again I'm going to drag and drop it right here on the edge. Then I'm going to take and move my box over here again and drag and drop again. And now I'm going to zoom out. Now you'll see here, I'm going to move my box, I have the center line is the fold line and then this outside one, this is my quarter inch border or margin all the way around this particular panel. So I'm going to go over here and do it to this one as well. I'm going to zoom in, click on the ruler, drag and drop, come over here, drag and drop, control zero to zoom out and you can see how quickly I made the quarter inch margins. I still have the center line for the fold line and I'm going to come down here to the bottom one real quick and just set this up. I'm going to drop it right here, zoom in, I actually zoom in for two reasons. One, so I can see what I'm doing, and two, so I don't have to drag the ruler that far across the page. And I'm going to go over here to this one. I'm going to zoom in, click and drag and pull across, move it over to the other side of the fold line, and click and drag and drop. Now at this point, I'm not going to need, I'm going to do control zero, but I'm not going to need this box anymore, so I can go ahead and delete that box. I can scroll back up. You can see that my outside and my inside pages are identical. I have my panels set up for use. I would refer to my folding dummy to see exactly what goes where. And I hope this helps. Thank you.